This hunger is horrific. It's consuming my every thought and the ache in the back of my throat is oh, overpowering. But I can't. I can't feed. I will not feed. It will destroy too much of what I've worked for. Too much of what I love and treasure. I may be a monster, but I am only a monster to myself from now on. Beloved, I am fine. Just resting. Our little one is really taking quite a bit out of me. I know it would help if I would feed, but we've discussed this. The baby, the baby is doing just fine living off of me. There is no need to harm anyone, including you, for sustenance. I know you worry about me, darling. Please, please don't. I've looked over the research you've been doing on babies like ours. I, I know most of it's only folklore, but there had to be some truth to it. I've noticed that none of the mothers were reported to survive. <sighs> Sweetheart, you don't know that I will make it through this. You have to prepare yourself for whatever happens. I would gladly die if it means our little one lives. I also value your life much more than my own. You know that. True. All of those mothers were human and the children sired by our kind. But we are completely in uncharted territory in so many ways. No. No, I'm, I'm alright. Just these pains across my abdomen. It's like fire digging. Oh, digging in and racing across my skin. And... And like sharp daggers... And sharp daggers clawing at my insides. Mm. I think I think it might be the baby. The research says the babies ripped and clawed their way out of their mother's wounds. Do you think that's what is happening? The baby's trying to get out of me. I know. I know I've only been caring this precious little one for a few months but I'm not the typical pregnant woman darling my belly started to swell within days of Ben telling me right now I would be I would be the equivalent of an expecting mother in her eighth or ninth month and I've reached that in just a matter of mere months Oh, will you stop asking me to do that, please? I know I felt extremely better after feeding from you, but I will not do it anymore. I refuse. Beloved, because the baby craves it and forces me to crave it as well, and if I bite... I don't know if I'll be able to stop. Dearest, I know you don't wish me to stop. You still want to become a true betrayed, but I will not change you. <sighs> Once again, I remind you, I swore to you that I would do it only under the most dire of circumstances when I have no other choice. I still have a choice. 
No. No, I'm fine. What news from the generals about the regime? I do not need to worry about that. Yes, I do. I am the leader of the betrayed. I need to keep up with what our enemies are doing. Do they have word about the baby yet? Good. Good. We just need to keep this little one a secret as long as we can. Even if I do perish in childbirth, our little one will be hunted down by the regime. We must make provisions now. We have to find you a place to live. We need to get money and food in order. We have to... I have never felt pain like this before. Not since the curse took over my body. I feel as if my muscles are pulling away from the bone. And at the same time as if small shards of glass are being ground into my stomach and my brain. I really, I really don't know how much more I can take. Beloved, stop. I will not drink from you. Please. Please, my love, I will not take from you. What are you doing with that knife? Do not cut yourself. I said do not let your blood flow. <laughs> he knows how bad this is. Why must he torment me so? I cannot. I will not feed from him. I could have a soft throat between my teeth in a matter of mere seconds and drink him dry before he could take a breath. Oh, his blood screams at me. The drips on the floor are like thunder, like thunder in my ears. <laughs> the baby, the baby, it wants the blood. It's fighting against my insides. <laughs> Calm down, little one. You're hurting me. You're fine. You're perfectly fine living off of mama. We can't take daddy's blood. We can't. Beloved, please. Please stop. Don't do this to me. Don't torment me so you can't force me. And by doing what you just did, you are waging war unfairly. <laughs> I've told you, nothing will change my mind. The baby will live off of me, and when I die, when it's delivered, you will carry on and raise this little one without me. You may enter. Sean, what is the matter? Ben? The Lunar and his lady are here. Beloved, you go speak with him. I do not wish for him to see me in this condition. What? No, beloved. Sean, do not bring them in here. Sean, that is an order. What do you mean? Beloved, that I am in no condition to give orders. I am Morrigan, leader of the betrayed. No one oversteps my authority. <laughs> you will pay for this greatly, my love. Well, if it isn't the big, bad wolf. The look on Ben's face says it all. 
I really am dying. 